morning guys it's almost 6 30 a.m and i'm about to head to the gym and i just got all ready i told you guys i'm not playing any games i don't care if i'm tired right now like i'm making myself get up because honestly no other method works for me other than like cold turkey get your shit together so here we are taking my banana and pre-workout with me because i didn't have enough time to drink it this morning this is a problem with me trying to go so early i'm like not hungry or at all awake yet so it's hard for me to like down my pre-workout but i'm gonna like down it in the car it's cold out my tummy hurts because i'm not used to going to the gym early like i used to need to shut down to keep you out of my mind it's strange to be here We used to go all the time I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done Don't come back And I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done I won't come back I have dreams about us I just want it to stop Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop I put deodorant on why do I feel like I smell myself right now <laughs> oh, that was a good workout I'm literally still out of breath I was like doing super sets on the um like hip abductor adductor thing but I couldn't do one of the two I always forget which one's abductor adductor I was doing the ones where you push it out because when I was trying to set the thing to go the other way it was broken so I couldn't do the other ones but yeah very good leg day I'm so happy that I I'm like back at my gym routine. It feels good. And yay, I actually hit 300 total calories, which is awesome. I know it says 242 active calories because it's like trying to measure when I'm actively moving versus my little like breaks in between sets. But to be honest, oh, there's Chad. I don't think it's that most accurate because my heart rate's like racing the entire time. So even though I might not be actively moving, like I'm still working out. So I like to consider this as 300 calories. I already took a bite, but this is my breakfast, just two eggs and a piece of toast. And I'm working on some goals for 2022. If you guys are curious, I'm just like splitting it up in personal business and YouTube. These kind of things have just been on my mind a lot. This one's like really funny because it's truly like a goal of mine because I've just like the last several months of this year, I have been just taking naps in the middle of the day after I do anything productive. Like, I think it's also to do with, like, the seasonal depression that I experience this time of year. So, naturally, I just feel, like, a lack of motivation, and I end up wanting to take naps in the middle of the day, which really throws off my day, and it's not productive at all. And if you work a normal job, like, you don't even have the ability to do that, but when you have the freedom of working from home, it's really easy to just, like, go lay down and take a little nap. Except for the weekends, because I love me a good nap on the weekends. And then I just also did some business and some, like, YouTube slash social media ones that I'm trying to work on, but this list is going to grow quite a bit. Thinking about doing like a whole 2022 goals and like outlining every single goal that I have, what I'm going to do to achieve it, how I'm kind of planning it out, maybe doing like a mood board. I don't know. I might just do like a whole video for that because I feel like I want to plan everything out. I mean, this is the year I get married. It's a really big year for me. It's a little bit later and I'm about to run into Ulta to grab a few things and then I'm going to stop into Bath and Body Works even though it's like madness out right now because it's the day after Christmas and everyone wants to you know, do their returns and shop with their Christmas money and all of that. And I'm out in the madness right now, but I'm gonna be really, really quick. I just need to run into um, Ulta to grab a couple things and I have it written down on my phone so I don't get anything unnecessary. And then I'm gonna run into, sorry, my bangs are like getting on my nerves. They're at this like awkward length now. Um, and then I'm gonna run into Bath and Body Works 
because they're having like their semi-annual sale. Get some candles and some hand soaps. Got what I needed at Ulta and next door is GNC. So I went into GNC and grabbed something. And then I also had to kit nail polish remover because they were out of it. Um, at Ulta, like completely sold out. So I just got a giant bottle of acetone and a couple other things at um, Sally's that I'll show you guys when I get home. But I'm at Bath and Body Works now. I'm gonna run in there really quick, grab my stuff and then go home. I've already been out way later than I anticipated. Okay, I'm back home and this is the Superfood Greens powder stuff that I got at GNC because I saw it online from a bunch of different like fitness people and evidently it's really really good to get your greens in and vitamins that you lack in your diet. It's also supposed to be really good for bloating so I'm going to try to start taking this supplement every day. I'll show you guys the goods I secured at Bath and Body Works. We got blackberries and basil. This is such a good kitchen scent. It's very clean and I really really like the way this lid looks. Like it's not straight white. It's like almost a matte finish. Oh, I love the smell of that one. And then a peach bellini. And this one is a really good like neutral scent. It's dark blue night. It's kind of masculine, really good like bedroom scent. And then they didn't have barely any hand soaps that weren't Christmas. So I only got one, it's French lavender. And a body cream in Sunrise Woods. Okay, now we're gonna do a mini Ulta and Sally Beauty haul. <laughs> So I got this banana setting powder from um, Makeup Revolution because I've heard good things about it. Right now I use the Laura Mercier one and it's very expensive. So I thought I'd try this one. And then the Benefit Gimme Brow, I've used this in the past. And now that I have my eyebrows microbladed, I don't really have to fill them in as much. So I thought this might be perfect to just kind of like tame them and tint them a little bit. And then I got the Lux Gloss in Ticklish from ColourPop. I love me a good shimmery lip gloss. And then I got this palette from ColourPop that's called That's Taupe because I'm obsessed with ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I didn't realize how good they were until I pulled out my one that I haven't used in forever is from like last year and it's called like California Love or something like that. And it's amazing. The colors are so pigmented. It's literally like the same quality as Tarte except this was like $14. So pretty excited about this. And then at Sally's. I got these so that I can clip my uh, nails whenever I'm taking off the gel because these are like really really handy. And then I got this little nail soaking bowl so whenever I like to like soak my hands in warm water to like soften up my cuticles to prep my nails and I always just use like a regular glass bowl but this is way better because it actually has like a little spot to like rest your palm and kind of fits in there better. I got another um, nail file and then I got this goofy looking practice finger because I really, really, really want to try to practice acrylic. I know it's crazy. I'm not like a nail tech. I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I thought it'd be fun to try. So I got a little practice finger to try it. And then of course a little uh, brush for acrylic to try it and the little dish. I already have acrylic powder in the liquid, so we're just gonna experiment and the acetone that I went in there for. So that's everything. No, I'm grasping it's just trying to save my Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. <laughs> Do not touch the patient. <laughs> Dinner time and I am so excited. We are having rigatoni with red sauce and we made, um, and we just sauteed onions and garlic and mushrooms to add into it and some ground turkey and some Italian bread. Chad and I are ending the night with midnight mass and I'm eating some peanut butter cookies. I did my nails, but I don't like how they turned out. I suck, okay, I tried so hard. This is not what I had in mind. I, oh my God, I'm like, they're like, whoa, too much going on here. Um, initially I was supposed to do silver glitter just a little bit and then I saw this other one in there and I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna experiment with this. And I went a little crazy and now my nails look like mermaid nails or something, which this is just like too much for me. So, uh, we will be doing nails again <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching the vlog and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.